Welcome back, Multifamily Geeks. This is Max Rock with MultifamilyGeeks.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, you guys. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks again, geeks. And today I want to talk to you about four reasons to learn how to syndicate multifamily properties. And I'm going to roll through these four reasons pretty quickly here. Number one, you may need zero of your own money to purchase large multifamily properties. We use other people's money to buy these large properties through a process called, and I say little known to the public because a lot of people don't even understand that this exists. It's called syndication. Syndication is the raising of private investment funds to buy large properties. We buy the properties, we make some sort of value add, we sell the property and pay back our investors with a return. Technically speaking, the person who syndicates the property because of their expertise and track record does not have to put any money in. They're being paid a piece of equity for their a sweat equity, so to speak, if you're in the single family world, world, because of their expertise in this syndication process. But technically speaking, they don't need any of their own money. Now, in a lot of cases, they will be putting their own money in. Why? Because if you get into this business, you're gonna have a growing pool of your own money to put into properties anyway. Reason number two of why you should learn how to syndicate multifamily properties. The better you run the property, the higher the price, okay? I know that makes intuitive sense to you. You're gonna buy a 200 to 300 unit, fix it up and sell it for a higher price. We get it, right? That's what we do. The cool thing about multifamily properties, it runs on a specific formula. The formula is price equals net operating income divided by cap rate. And I'm gonna give you a quick example for you to see how powerful this is. Let's say we buy 200 units, put a washer dryer in each unit, charge 50 bucks extra per month in rent per unit. That's $120,000 extra in income. If we take that income and divide it by uh, an assumed 5% cap rate, let's say for that area, we can now sell that building for $2,400,000 more after we make that improvement and start to charge that additional rent. Uh, imagine the power of that formula, being able to tell investors, hey, we're gonna put this amount in, we're gonna sell it for this amount, as long as we hit our projections at this assumed cap rate, we're gonna be able to pay an 18% return, a very powerful feature of why you should learn to syndicate multifamily properties. Number three, depreciation. Multifamily properties enjoy a favored tax depreciation status called cost segregation. Basically speaking, it allows you to depreciate the property, portions of the property more quickly than you would have been able to without the cost segregation process. So what do we get for this? If we're making money passively from the property, we can now have passive depreciation to write that income off with, potentially increasing your returns from your investment in multifamily properties. Um, another reason to learn how to syndicate multifamily properties is non-recourse loans. There's a negative feature to trying to buy single family homes. Let's say you wanna go out and build a portfolio of single family renters. You buy your first one with a loan, uh, you rent it. You buy your second one with a loan, you rent it. You buy your third one with a loan. By about the fourth property, the bank's gonna look at you and go, no, you have four lo three loans on your record. I'm not gonna give you a fourth. Multifamily properties has this non-recourse loan, which does two things. Number one, it allows you to continue to use your same cash on hand, net worth and experience on each and every property in turn to then take a loan on that property and move on. The non-recourse loan does not count against your overall record cumulatively. You can do one after the other, after the other, after the other without stop. In fa fact, once the bank sees you can do these properties, they want you to do more. So I hope that helps. That's four reasons why you should learn how to syndicate multifamily properties, folks. It can change your life. Don't forget to go to multifamilygeeks.com, log into a free account with Anthro, uh, in AnthroBank, go to the tools tab and download our latest version of our free multifamily underwriting template. Thanks for listening and keep living love, grow freedom. Mm -hmm.